Hello everybody, this is String Emma here to kick off the finale for my tournament. And oh my god, it's been a one hell of a tournament. <laughs> we started with 64 combatants way back in like April or something. And we are down to our final two. And it is going to be our host, Stranger Gamer, going up against Black Beauty. Our host looking to win this, win this tournament for the second time. Black Beauty looking to win one of my tournaments for the first time. Their second tournament success overall. So this is going to be one hell of a contest. And before we get started, we got some I got some things to get off my chest. And I want to say a big, big shout out to everyone who entered. Everyone that has made this tournament possible. And the guys that entered in the past five years. Because this, this tournament has been absolutely insane. And <laughs> I'm so glad. Well, I'm kind of glad that we're, we're going to conclude it here. Because it, it has definitely been a marathon. And there are some things I would like to say. With regards to what happens now. What happens after and stuff like that. Because I'm sure people will be curious. As you know, for those... As you know, I'm sure you're aware that my tournaments are an annual thing, so a one once a year thing. So there won't be one till 2025. But it'll probably start at around the same time that this one did. Because I think the timing I got a bit better this time compared to last year. Um things that will that you can look for for next year will be will be some changes I ha I do have planned in my head. <laughs> Um, the first one, I know a lot of people will ask, will Terrain Advantage still be a thing? It will be a thing, but the free hit aspect of it is going to be gone next year. And yeah, that's all I'm going to leave you with. Um, will my mini tournaments continue? Yes, but it won't be for a while. So I'll, I'll probably be taking a break from Dinosaur King after doing this. I want to focus on Primal Carnage since the big 3.0 update is coming out soon. And yeah, I'm going to... Focus on Primal Carnage. Evolution 2, I have mods to showcase uh, eventually when I pull my finger out. But yeah, don't worry. There will be some mini tournaments. And I will put up a poll soon for you guys to vote which mini tournament there will be next. And I do have some crazy ideas floating around in my head. And if you guys are um, starved of tournament content, there are, de there are other guys that are doing tournaments. I know Keontae's just announced that he's doing another one for... 1,000 subscribers, which I'll be joining. So make sure to join his tournament. We want to overwhelm him with entries. Because <laughs> let, me, let me tell you, and another thing, definitely 64 is my limit. I will not go higher than 64 next year. So I'm probably I'm going to break a few hearts, unfortunately, next year. But, you know, it is what it is. Right, enough about that. Let's focus on the finale and the here and now. And, well, let's not put it off any longer. Let's get it done. And let's see... Who will win this tournament? Okay, we're in the Alpha Arena. No terrain advantages. Okay, what's interesting? We have similar elemental teams, so the odds are if one of us gets terrain advantage, we'll both get it. Right, in the red corner, for our host, Stranger Gamer, we've got Synteosaurus, and wow, this thing was a beast in the semi-finals. Can it be a beast again in the finale? Right, in the blue corner, for Black Beauty, we've got Super Eel Carcaria, Waker Mode on 3. And wow... An extraordinary tournament for Black Beauty. Although they did suffer their first defeat of the tournament against Maastrician. And they got a tie as well. That semi-final was crazy. Let's see what, what, let's see what happens. Oh, that's a tie. And it's our hosts landing the first shot of the match. The elemental power coming in, which is not really going to help. Because it's the EO card only got Flare Sword. And well, it's got possible Awakened Hit. And the power drain goes through Defense Burst, I believe. But that's a good start there, getting the first shot of the match. Oh, that's a crit. That's what we want. It's a Metal Wing. The elemental power is going to max up. This is steady stuff from the host so far. Hey, I, I, I don't plan on letting Black Beauty have their way in this match. No, uh, uh. Right, that's twice. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, 
Oh, and that's Eelcock Kakiria down, and that's an early lead for the hosts. And no chance of an awakened hit either from Black Beauty. That could be big. Right. Dino 1 defeated. Coming in next for Black Beauty, we got the Brachyceratops, the Blitz type Brachyceratops. Now, I could have a good chance here again, that defense burst going, if I can counter that crit. Bang. Dun, dun, dun. So you know the deal is going to go for two blit. It's going to go for two crits, and let's see if Black Beauty can land one of them. Well, they haven't landed a shot yet in this match. Oh, that's a hit from the Sinteosaurus. Is it doing it again? The defense boost is going to activate. That's going to cause Black Beauty a lot of problems. Right, Blitz crit number two. And another hit. Okay, this is going too well. This is going very, very well. And Black Beauty really struggling to land a shot. Okay, there we go. But... Oh, wow. That was a crit and it did that little damage. Black Beauty really needs a tie here. There's an Anyang Gera dive again hits, but that Sinteosaurus was able to buff itself out. An Anyang Gera dive will definitely help. Okay, that's three crits. In, oh my god, that's three crits in a row, and the Sinteosaurus is still not down. Okay, that could be what Black Beauty needs a tie to get the Plasma Anchor going. Plasma Anchor does go through the defense bits. Oh, they don't need that. That's another hit from the Sinteosaurus. And look at this. The hosts on the brink are being 2-0 up. Luckily for Black Beauty, it's a best of three. And that's it. It's 2-0. This is going way too well for my liking. <laughs> right, coming in third for Black Beauty, we got Ace Dino Tector. And well, I don't think anybody expected this scenario. Our host 2-0 up. And Black Beauty down to Ace Dino Tector. Well, you see, you let that Sinteosaurus get maxed up defensively, you're going to have problems, and Black Beauty has had problems. Okay, there's a tie. Now, they do have the Dino Tector, and we, we all know Dino Tectors can swing a match 180, so this is far from done. And Sinteosaurus finally bites the dust. Right, the ho then, coming in next for our host, we got Mega Raptor. Dun, dun. Well, it's uh, so far so good for the host. They've managed to get around pretty much everything Black Beauty could throw at them. The Awakened hit, which they didn't, well, they didn't even have a chance of that. The two Blitz crits didn't get a single one off. Got through the Dino Stuffer. Just got to get through with this Ace now. And there'll be a lead for the hosts to defend. Okay, there's a tie Bomb. Okay, Dino Illusion's getting triggered. That's going to slow the Mega Raptor right down. Oh! Oh, look at that! Look at that for an Archaeopteryx charm! Getting rid of that tie Bomb. Okay, that's, that's a big Dino Illusion. That would have been a crit. Hmm. That actually means I won't get another hit on the board now. Until the Archaeopteryx charm expires. Okay, there's a recovery as well. This is good from Black Beauty coming back into this. Slightly. And remember, they still got the Dino Tactor. They get an ultimate wind off on the Orhinoceratops. They can pull this they can pull this comeback off. And remember, the Mega Raptor cannot hit Ace too badly because of the Archaeopteryx charm. Okay, there's that hit. There's a hit, but the tie bomb's gonna come in. The Archaeopteryx charm is gonna remove that tie bomb and heal Ace up. It'll trigger the Dino Illusion as well and the light recovery. Okay, a Cyclone will definitely help me. But yeah. Okay, didn't heal Ace up as much this time, but Light Recovery does get triggered. 
Oh, and there's a hit. And look at this all of a sudden. Dino Tector time. Well, I said this was going too well. I will say, I'm probably glad they got the Dino Tector because it gets rid of all their pesky moves. <laughs> if it weren't for the freaking Archaeopteryx charm and the light recovery, this ace, ace would be down by now. <laughs> oh, it's an ultimate win! Big shot for Black Beauty! And they are right back in this match! Okay, there goes Mega Raptor, and well, and now all of a sudden, coming in third for our host, we got the Arhinoceratops. Well, Arhinoceratops has certainly stepped up in the knockout round. It's gonna have to step up here if Stranger wants this one nil lead. I tell you what, what a time to produce a comeback! The Dino Tectors, man, they swing. I mean, I wouldn't say it's more about the moveset than the Dino Tactic, to be honest. Oh, but that's a crit from the Arena Ceratops. And attack boost coming in as well. And remember, even though the Ultimate Wind is gone, Ace will hit harder because when a Dino Tactic uses its ultimate move, the, I believe its attack stats do get increased, so Ace will hit harder. But that's a tie at the minute. Oh, oh, we're going to see now. That's a crit. Oh, big shot from Black Beauty. Look at this. Can they do it? Oh, that's a hit from the Aridoceratops, though. Is that lethal damage? Yes, it is. And it is 1-0 to the hosts. And, well, it looked very comfortable early on, but that Ace Dino Tector really pulled it back. And just out of interest... I want to see what would have happened next. Oh, crikey. So yeah, Black Beauty would have got the next hit. The attack boost of the Arhinoceratops definitely helped out. Black Beauty would have got a crit and would be 1-0 up. But instead, it's our hosts that are 1-0 up in this final. Right, on to uh, round two. Ooh, okay. This is an interesting field for us. Both of us will get terrain advantage if at some point in this match. Me with the Mega Raptor and Black Beauty with the, with Ace Dino Tactic. Very interesting. Could that be could that make the difference? Right, first things first. Oh Black Beauty getting the first shot of the match. Now the Sinkale Source did cause him a lot of problems in round one. Oh that's not ideal for them though, that's a hit. That's going to activate the defense boost, the elemental power. Good shot there from our host, Stranger Gamer. One. And that's a tie. I really wish I put green impulse on this guy now. Oh, that's a power drain. Now, power drain does go through defense boost, so that's a good counter for me there. And we will see some awakened action. Oh no. Elemental! Jarko! Fusion! Can Black Beauty take advantage here? Oh, they can't! And instead, it is our host getting a crit. I mean, the crit is irrelevant. It's getting the hit to stop the awakened hit. That's the more critical part. And getting an elemental power max up as well. But that's a really good hit there from the Centaurosaurus. And, well, we're level packing. Okay, that's a tie. It's another tie. If Black Beauty can get a hit here. The Mega Raptor comes in next with the terrain advantage. And that terrain advantage is going to be wasted. And they do get the hit. That's a good hit from Black Beauty. Down Centaurosaurus. And it does mean this Mega Raptor's terrain hit is going to be wasted on the Eel Carcaria. I would have much preferred it on the Brachiceratops, but no matter. So that's a good, that's a good hit there from Black Beauty. 
they'll have free reigns to go for our Blitz crit on this Mega Raptor. Yeah, get this bit over with, not that it matters because the Eokarkiri is down anyway. Right, well, I've already mentioned it. Up next for Black Beauty, we've got the, the Blitz type Brachy Ceratops. You know, the deal is going to go for the two Blitz crits. Now, this did backfire a bit for Black Beauty in the first round. Oh, not this time though. This time they get the crit, the dive coming in as well. Good shot from Black Beauty. Right, crit number two. And they get another crit. That's more like it from Black Beauty. Two crits there. Okay, that's a tie. And that's going to activate the Plasma Ranker. And that's going to down the Mega Raptor. And Black Beauty blitzing it their way into a lead. And this is precisely what they needed. With the terrain advantage that Ace has to come as well. Not good for me. Not good for me. And things looking good for Black Beauty to tie this up. But, still not over. I still I still have a chance to snip to get this win. But a Rhinoceratops, well, it's going to have to do what it hasn't done at all this tournament. And that's kill two dinos in one match. Okay, there's a hit. Attack boot's going to activate. I will say, this thing will probably be maxed up if it does fit, get to face Ace. Okay, there's a tie. No Plasma Anchor this time, though. Oh, that's a crit, but the Dino Stuffer is going to come in. It's going to nullify that crit. Black Beauty still retains a decent lead in this match. And they're going to extend it, because that's a crit. Okay, not by much. <laughs> These two don't have the best attack, let's be honest. Oh, that's a hit, and Anyangera dive to come. Black Beauty chipping away on the brink of level in this finale. Okay, Counter Blitz is going to complicate things for them. That's good for me, though, because that does guarantee me at least a hit of some kind. Unless it's a tie and they get Plasma. Oh, but that's a crit. That's going to max up the attack boost. We could see Electric Charge here as well. And look at that! Brachyceratops down and no Electric Charge. Oh! I'm a dumb dumb, aren't I? I completely forgot the Black Beauty gets terrain advantage with Ace, so they probably already won. <laughs> so yeah, Black Beauty is going to level this tie up. And we are going to go to a decided match between our two finalists. Please survive. No, I didn't think you would. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. Black Beauty levels the tie. Oh, now things are getting really twitchy now. Because it's all on this deciding match. Everything. The tournament, the championship. Who will become champions for the second time. All on this match. Ooh, the Colosseum. The venue befitting of a finale of such magnitude. Well, we are all square. Which one of these has enough fuel left in the tank to go that extra mile and get this victory? Let's find out. Yes, that's the star we want. That's a hit, that's a defense burst, that's an elemental power, that's exactly what we want. Although, again, like I said, the power drain does counter it. So, yeah. I'll just make sure he doesn't choose to get a power drain. Oh, there's a crit. I don't mind that. I'll take that. Minimal damage is going to be dealt. Oh, okay. There's another crit from Black Beauty. It is going to be awakening time. A flare sword going to activate. Right, here we go. And Black Beauty get the hit to race into an early lead. Oh, they can! It's a power drain! Oh, this is not good. Are things going to go wrong for the hosts? Are they going to trip at the last hurdle? Well, it's still early days, yeah. And remember, Eokarkiri does lose half its HP. But yeah, that, that was definitely not ideal. Right, that was a 
five. Come on, come on, give me a crit. I'll do. That's a crit. That should be lethal for Eukarkaria. And it bloody well is. So, everything said and done, we're level packing. Right, the big moment. This, I think, is the big moment here. The Blitz type Brachyceratops. If it gets off those two Blitz crits, like it did in round two, Black Beauty will be in a commanding position to win. But, all I need is one hit. And I can get the crit block going, the tie bomb going, and things will be very difficult for Black Beauty when they get the first Blitz crit. And Anyan Gira dives to come. This really made the difference in round two. Right, crit number two. And they get it again! Oh, that's not good. The two Blitz crits. It, it, it was a gamble because one hit from the Mega Raptor and the match is in my favour, but that's a tie. It's a plasma anchor. History repeats itself. And the Brachyceratops puts Black Beauty on the brink of winning. Oh, those two crits. That was huge. One scissors hit. And that's it. That's game over for Black Beauty. Well, not really, but you know. Well, we dealt with it well in the first match, which is why I won there, but... Four Blitz crits in a row. And a Dino Stuffer to protect it as well. And a Plasma Anchor. But that should be it for Plasma Anchor now. They, sh they should not get any more Plasma Anchors off in this match. But it's all Black Beauty now. They really have turned the screw in this match. Big time. Oh, they can get another Plasma Anchor off. Oh, there's another... Okay, yeah, this is, this is going... This is, this is it. <laughs> this is all going wrong. All right, Counter Blitz is going to slow them down, but yeah. I mean... Corner Rhinoceratops, can you produce the most extraordinary comeback? Oh my god, there's a tie as well. Yeah, I, I think this is it. <laughs> Black Beauty on the brink of the win. And of course they get the Plasma Anchor off. Of course they win it. With a Plasma Anchor, the Brachyceratops, the little fella of their team, has won them this tournament. And it is heartbreak for our host Stranger Game who bows out at the very last hurdle. And it is Black Beauty taking the victory. Coming from behind yet again. And well, that is it. It is Black Beauty taking the win. Alright, I'll give them their two minutes of fame. I'll play the montage, play the montage. Representing Black Beauty in the blue corner, we have got the Super Eocarcaria. The Black Beauty second dinosaur, we have the Blitz type Brachyceratops. It is Ace. Ace Dino Tactor. Oh, that's a tie, is that going to do it? Mallow do it for Crown Over and it's Black Beauty's victory. Ooh, now things get interesting. Because we get the Awaken Mode and the Dino Tactor at the same time. Oh, but it's Black Beauty getting the hit. Down goes Paris. Dino Tector on. Ooh, this could be a big moment in the match now. Oh, it's ultimate win. That's going to be game over for Raybo. And Black Beauty's going to make it three out of three. Yep, here it comes. Plasma Ranker's going to finish off the stag. Black Beauty working their way back into this contest after a very slow start, I've got to be honest. Oh, that's a massive crit for Black Beauty. Big shot from the Arcaria. That's going to be curtains for Triceratops. A crit could one-shot ace you. Oh, they went for it, but ace hadn't, was having none of it. It's seven wins from seven in the group stage for Black Beauty in a truly incredible tournament. Disaster for Man is a hit from Black Beauty and it's going to be a massive one as well. Oh wow, that was a big shot. Oh, it might actually one shot him. The Flare Sword's going to come in, that's going to all but finish our Polar Campus. But it's a Plasma Anchor and that Plasma Anchor is going to do it. It's going to be nine wins out of nine for Black Beauty in this tournament. 
and they go through to the quarterfinals to play against Team Allo. On the power train! Massive hit from Black Beauty! We saw this in the match against Lad. They got the awakened hit on the Polar Campus and did massive damage. And I think they, yeah, they one-shot the uh, Polar Campus. Although I don't think this is going to be a one-shot on the Arthrox. It's still a massive hit. The match of this round. Maastricht in the champ going up against 100% Black Beauty. But Maastricht gets the hit. The win streak ends at 10 for Black Beauty. Oh, it's a tie! And both of our guys go down and get the hit. And Lily and Q are coming in as well. But this is going to be a big shot from Black Beauty. Black Beauty gets the hit. Ace is going to level the tie for Black Beauty. And yes, we are going to go to penalties. We go, it's on the penalties. It's going to be Eo Karkiria versus Eo Karkiria for a place in the finals. And they get the hit. Is that going to do it? That's going to do it. And Black Beauty wins on penalties to go through to the final and knock out the champ Maastrician. Is that lethal damage? Yes, it is. And it is 1-0 to the hosts. Oh, not this time, though. This time they get the crit. The dive coming in as well. Good shot from Black Beauty. And we are going to go to a deciding match between our two finalists. That's a tie. It's a plasma anchor. History repeats itself. And the Brachyceratops puts Black Beauty on the brink of winning. Of course they win it. With a plasma anchor, the Brachyceratops, the little fellow of the team, has won them this tournament. Well, there it is. We had 64 combatants in this entire tournament. And the last one standing is Black Beauty. Beauty, and they've done it by winning every match in this tournament although they did lose in the semi-final and final but they won the tie overall so i would i'll still give it to them what a tournament they've had what a couple of months they've had because they won someone else's tournament a few months ago that's crazy and yeah i think overall probably the best team won and in all honesty given the group stage showing that my team put in i'm glad i got to the final but yeah, definitely underdog. You know, I got one win against them. But it was a very hard-earned win. And I was 2-0 up in that match. So that just shows how hard, they, how like, strong their team was. That they came back and was one hit away from getting the win there. On, on to next year, I suppose. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to end it. End the year. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank, thank you to everyone who entered. And until next year. Ta-ta.